Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, it's about one year since the time Ruto took over power. And if Ruto is worried about the next election, I think he is wrong. Ruto should be worried if he can manage to finish the five years term. Because what we are seeing now, it is totally opposite of what people thought of. We thought that it will be as me that will be leading rejection protest against William Ruto. But the same people who voted for Ruto are the ones leading rejection of Ruto. I shared just a video from a lady in Rift Valley and she's speaking for the voiceless women in Rift Valley and Mambogas. Today, we are now seeing now after Rift Valley, Mount Kenya is joining the voices that is rejecting William Samway Ruto. And they are doing it painfully. Because <laughs> outside here, in one way or another, they are feeling being bullied by those who voted for Azimio. When I say my kwamba, Sisi, what were Mount Kenya region? Tunaskia vibaya sana because we are being bullied outside here for voting for you. Because now, Ruto, has missed the country. Everything that was predicted during campaign, all bad things that was said about Ruto, it is now happening. There is one man, Brian Matiga, who is now trending on X. And I see Brian Matiga in two ways. Number one, as a Mount Kenya region, person who voted for William Samuel Ruto. And number two, he seems to be a blogger who was supporting William Ruto candidature. But now he's regretting. And then he's like, it's better to get what now Uhuru because he can mention all the good things that Uhuru has done. But all he can see in Ruto, it is the bad things that Ruto has done to bring down the economy and to finish the youth of this country completely. I want us to go through what he has shared and what he was saying earlier before uh, Ruto became the president. But before, before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back this discussion. This is what Matiga said earlier. Ruto will be the best this country has ever had. Kenyans will not regret electing him as their fifth. While his opponents are busy asking why they rounded off some simple mathematics figures, Ruto, the president-elect, is busy building his government. This will be very productive five years. That is what he said when Ruto took over power. I'm a Chukwatras and yo, I'm a Kalia. Hey, another one. President Ruto will deliver because he has a cabinet that is ready and willing to perform beyond expectation. This was then when Ruto just formed his cabinet and that was his reaction to that. Sasa wate mambo yanza kwa rebika. This is the question he is posing. And this one is a bombshell. Is there a way we can convince these members of National Assembly to impeach President Ruto? Because we can't let him, we can't let this country collapse and crash while we are seeing President Ruto, while we are seeing President Ruto Need to, need to be impeached. Better if he resigns. Kenyans, something has to be done. Now he's asking for impeachment of William Ruto. After saying all good things about Ruto, even when Ruto was messing in types of, in, in kind of the cabinet he, he chose. What to come a courier? What to come a mythical in Turi? 
Watu wengi tu failures we saw it coming but he supported sasa before the latest one there is something he said about uhuru kenyatta to show you now from supporting william ruto endorsing his cabinet voting for him and now facing the reality this is what he said president uhuru introduced kazim tani to ensure youth in the village were busy doing something and earning something at the end of the day this also kept majority of our drug of majority out of drugs and the crime president ruto scrapped it today youth are into drug and are depressed that is very true president uhuru introduced inter internship to university graduates something that is is benefiting many youth yearly this has kept the youth going and uh, gives them an opportunity to get the required experience in whatever field president uhuru cared sasa wamerudi kwa uhuru today youth are being forced to get to rehabilitation by pastoricas she isn't aware that all the youth need is employment give them job and you won't be worried about the boy child very true uhuru alikuwa na advisors wa aina gani hao na ruto alikuwa na advisors wa aina gani the best way to get youth out of drugs and drug abuse is by providing an employment keep them busy the way to get youth out of crime wizi na mambo yengine just offer a job to them they will live a dignified life hata kama ni pesa kidogo na kazi mtani ilikuwa nzuri because it was in every county that means every person in your own tribe you will get an employment somewhere as a youth ukwe wewe ni muluya mjaluo mkalenjin mkikuyu mkamba you get you are busy hata utafanya kazi na and because you can have something utaoa utakuwa na jamii na wataishi kwa amani hata kwa ile kidogo unapata kwa njia ya haki we elected a clueless government that doesn't care a government that has no ideas of how to do things a government that is only taking care of the politicians the common mwananchi is suffering depressed and stressed president ruto should call it a day and quit he should resign <laughs> that is matiga and lastly now the final bombshell is here and this is what is telling william samuel ruto president ruto we are being crucified because we elected you in 2022 president ruto as your supporters are bullying us because we elected you president ruto we feel embarrassed for making you the president of this country president ruto now the blame is no longer on you but to the voters who elected you that is the truth because look on eh, the video i shared yesterday when the kakamega deputy governor ayub sabula was at one point addressing the voters and it was clear that you are suffering because you refuse to listen to what we were telling you we warned you about this government we warned you about william ruto we told you in broad daylight but you went further to elect these people sasa umieni kwa ujinga yenu kwa uamuzi mlifanya so is telling ruto kwa ujinga wetu tulifanya uamuzi ambao hauko wa maana and now we are being crucified that the truth if you go on social media just check hata mimi wana nasoma comments hapa when you see a name like in a sound kama ya rift valley ama ya kutoka mount kenya you see how people will respond to him if you make a complaint Wanakwambia hiyo ndio serikali mlichagua. Shauri na shauri yenu na serikali yenu enjoy. That is the worst. Because you know there is a feeling of betrayal because you woke up early in the morning to go and vote for someone. Then you feel that he has turned against what he had promised you. At least for those who do not vote for these people, they don't feel betrayed. But they feel that we made the right decision in as much 
Our person is not in power, but we know this is what this person can do. Na wale walipigia kura wako na machungu kwa sababu they feel betrayed. Watu wazimio hawaja feel mali popota being betrayed because they made the right decision. And it's continuing here as I conclude. You have let us down the hustlers and we no longer have faith in you. We no longer trust you. You are in second but you honestly seem not to care. Nothing bothers you. Everyone has given up on you. Just resign. This is a strong message from Mount Kenya to William Samai Ruto. They are very clear. They no longer trust Ruto. They no longer need him. They no longer want to associate themselves with him. And the message is clear. He just has to resign and go. Who you need to find a kazi? Ya kwanza, blogging and supporting Ruto on social media. Campaigning for him. Now be trained. Ya pili, to wake up early in the morning and go and vote for Ruto, trusting that Ruto is going to work for them. Then the opposite imefanyika. Kime waramba. And now the protest and rejection against Ruto is boiling, starting from Rift Valley. You come to Mount Kenya. Before Ruto hamuke, itakuwa across the country and that will be his end. If he's worried about next election, he should be worried about finishing the first term. Because those who voted for him are now protesting against him. They are calling for his rejection. They are asking if there is any way they can impeach Ruto through the National Assembly. 